Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Sunny Makija. I am a senior inside sales specialist with Grave Infotech having 7 plus years of industry experience. Now before we get started, I am going through some quick housekeeping to ensure you guys can interact with myself and the speaker. Uh, firstly, if you uh, wish to ask uh, presenter a question we have a q a and chat features enabled so you can uh, type in your questions and we will be answering your question at the end of the session uh, we will be also also launching a poll question in today's webinar so we would appreciate you guys to select participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen uh, now i would like to welcome murli the zamane and melin chaudhary uh, we are so glad that you could be here today to share your insight on how to enable intelligent warehouse management with SAP, RFID and barcode enablement. Uh, Murli is a, a sales and operation director at Crave Infotech. During his 20 years of industry servings, he has handled and executed multiple automation projects for pharma, manufacturing, engineering, CPG and the IT industries. At present, he is uh, working closely along with SAP and Crave team for various uh, intelligent warehouse management projects. And we also have Melin from Crave Infotech. Melin is a functional technocrat, 28 plus years of experience with 17 plus years in core SAP, ECC and as for HANA with P2P, EW and delivery project management and solution architect. Uh, served for uh, almost 10 years in the pharmaceuticals and bulk drug industry as an analytical chemist scientist. Now, without any further ado, I would hand over to Morley to start the presentation. Over to you, Morley. Yep. Thank you so much, Sunny. And welcome you all for um, today's webinar of Grave Input in Intelligent Warehouse Management. Uh, so, first of all, good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of you, wherever you are, because people are uh, joining from different geographies of the globe. Um, before uh, turning to today's subject, in fact, I just wanted to quickly take you through the journey of the organization, just to let you know who we are, what we do, our solutions and services that will help to relate when during the discussion ahead, as well as connecting later in one-on-one -on -one discussions. So um, this is just, uh, uh, Sunny, I hope my screen is visible to all, right? Yes, Molly. Yeah, right. yeah. So the Crave Infotech, it's a 13-year-old organization, uh, started in 2007. And right from our inception, we are associated with SAP. In 2008, we partnered with SAP. And during this journey of 13 years, in fact, we expanded our uh, space in uh, digital solutions. Uh, we expanded the geography. Today, we are our head offices in the US, New Jersey. We are working in North America, Europe, uh, APAC, with the operational offices in the US, uh, Africa, Brussels, and India. And during this journey, we have also won SAP S Award. We are Pinnacle Award finalist, um, SAP War Partner, PE Sales Service Build. We also have our own 50 plus solutions which are available on SAP App Center. So um, these are our partnerships. As I mentioned, SAP, we are also associated with Zebra. We are their premium partner, reseller, and ISV partner. We are also associated, we are associated with here technologies, Amazon Web Services, Google, and uh, have needful full certifications from quality process management point of view, ISO 9001, 27001, and the awards we, uh, I just mentioned, SAP S award and uh, so on. So, um, Today we are, uh, I just mentioned the journey of the organization from 2007 to 21 and today we are in 22 and we also have our clear roadmap ahead till 25, uh, how we want to expand. Uh, today we are focusing completely in SAP, BTP, EAM, WM, EWM and supply chain areas um, with certain um, solutions like RFID and location services technologies. We want to double our size by 2023 and by 25, we want to become a premium partner in this space of SAP BTP with a sizable team size and expertise and have the leadership in market. Uh, 
so before talking on the today's uh, intelligent where crave intelligent warehouse solution i just wanted to take you through this is one interesting slide which is uh, the research paper out of the research paper of one renowned um, professional management consultant right so what they talk what they say is most of the organizations when they try to build their solution on their own say more than rather they are talking about 70% organization they fail and that is mainly because they try to build the solution which is not their core area so become end up in expensive team management low roi high deployment time uh, it's always difficult to upgrade because you do not have that specialization uh, in place and uh, very high cost of maintenance with high downtime incidences so uh, that is again because of deprioritization of resources from core business functionalities and that is why the um, consultant like crave come in picture because we help of course with a almost 75% total uh, lower total cost of uh, ownership we reduce the deployment time sizable by sizable percentage 80% almost we come up with 4.4.0 5.0 expertise uh, we work on all um, fda comp compliances for uh, various uh, respective industries and also come up with all needful expertise with a uh, future uh, futuristic solutions so um, uh, these these are our focused verticals uh, i will brief on all the uh, complete portfolio but before that this intelligent asset management intelligent warehouse management sub digital supply chain btp and intelligent enterprise these are the focused verticals which we are working today so intelligent asset management here we have complete portfolio as mentioned here warehouse management we will discuss more today uh, the btp yes we are as i mentioned we have clear road map to work in this space along with uh, sap and we are developing our team enabling our team uh, with all these areas to keep your s4 clean side by side extensions design thinking process automation with irpa we are working with uh, sir, some large scale organizations in uh, irpa with irpa automation and uh, conversational ai of course cai um so so these are the areas which we have decided as organization to our focused activity and intelligent enterprise so uh the earlier slide i was talking about the focus verticals the same we have tried to mention over here left hand side if you look at these are the products and solutions which i just explained and right hand side we have all these services in space right from the resource augmentation providing the expert expert consultants to uh, the um, complete sap btp enablement peer enablement uh, application development as per your customized way uh, smp to btp services the, this migration path and uh, sap erp implementation in which customization migration support so these are the areas we work in and we have almost 40 plus pre packaged solutions on sap app center and if you look at we are almost touching every functionality of the organizations right from the plant shop floor with the plant maintenance to digital supply chain warehouse management seed uh, approvals which is uh, approval uh, platform dashboards um, hrm solution and so on these are all extensions to your uh, current erp sap so with this i will uh, um, uh, talk about the agenda of the webinar today we will be discussing more about the crave intelligent warehouse solution and before that we will just quickly brush up on the challenges and the trends of warehouse management today and how uh, the crave solution will help you to keep in the ahead of the uh, 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 technology today so these are some of the common challenges when we talk about warehouse operations uh, redundant procedure with time consuming labor task and we all know that that manual task uh, leads to the inefficient time management and end up with a, a, a warehouse workforce 
then again inaccuracy and inefficiency in handling inventory because of the manual processes or a lot of paperwork paper reading which ends up with maintaining improper stock levels and built ups of absolute inventory so the major revenue losses over here then difficult to manage stocking and picking orders with diverse product portfolios because you have number of SKUs and of course instead of the complete paper activity if you use the scanner or image capture that definitely helps you to uh, keep you most up-to-date reading of your inventory and high labor cost leading to decreasing bottom line this is again another major uh, challenge today and how we address that so these are the things we discuss isolated systems and internal external visibility gaps the challenges again i'm just covering labor shortages and more volumes disconnected workers and workflows so uh, these all challenges of typical manual warehouse management systems and uh, uh, so so before uh, talking about the solution we also need to quickly cover okay, what are the trends right at marketplace so customer expectations outside the warehouse demand more and so pressure is increased inside the warehouse to process more this is the very important thing um, another thing is order volume is at all time high, especially post pandemic, we are observing that and days have turned into hours and picking accuracy is vital. So this is another important trend we have observed when we talk about today's warehouse management, especially post pandemic. So, and omnichannels transactions, increasing SKUs and customer demands call for efficiency across work warehouse workflow. So with this, what we need is uh, right <coughs> tracking visibility accurate inventory and profitable omni channel so creating profitable omni channel in operation is uh, critical uh, which how and how we do that with the uh, accurate inventory uh, instant access of availability of tracking and complete visibility from order placement to delivery so uh, with this, in fact, we would like to talk about Crave Warehouse uh, Management Solution. Before that, I just wanted to cover this warehouse maturity model, which we have uh, with uh, um, uh, help of Zebra, which we have taken this diagram. You will see there are three circles since the in internal circle, which is, uh, and this is complete warehouse management system, worker and workflow optimization, how we do that. The inner circle talks about sense, sensing of the data, barcode through barcode, sensors, variable voice, locationing, and intelligent automation. The next circle is to analyze the data, right? Workflow, workers driven, transactional data, sensors driven, real time data. And the third circle talks about more about the uh, operational part or act, how you can optimize use of mobility, how you can gain basic controls of business operations through automation. So this is about the warehouse maturity model. And with this, I invite um, Mr. Milin, who is our SME functional expert for warehouse management. So Milin, over to you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Murli and Sunny for giving me such a great opportunity. Uh, I hope uh, all you are able to see my screen, Murli, right? We can see your screen, Milin. Yes, thank you. So this is what the warehouse solution, what we are talking about. Uh, so uh, Crave Warehouse mobile applications is... Uh, uh, you know, we have all and sundry kind of applications, uh, no matter whether it is intelligent access management, warehouse management. And when we are talking about the warehouse management, we have inbound operation and outbound operation. We have in transit cross docking whereby the goods come in and without placing into the bins, it directly ship to the customers. So around these tools, inbound, outbound, internal processes, there are various processes revolves around. And based on the warehouse type, we provide the solution. We have the production warehouse, 
whereby the goods are issued to the production for manufacture of goods. We have distribution warehouse, mostly for dispatch and sale. We do have the cycle counting and internal warehouse processes and printing operations, storage and operations. So everything is revolving around what is the mobile uh, solution. And uh, we are effectively and efficiently developed more than 50 apps for that. We have end-to-end -end warehouse ERP solution. So what kind of solution? So uh, as uh, all of you know that we have SAP ECC, which is the old version. Uh, we have WM sitting on the ECC. Yes, our app supports that. We have S4 HANA on premises. We, our app supports that. We have S4 HANA Cloud. Apps has no limitation for that. So uh, I will show you a demonstration in a couple of minutes how we can effectively perform this operation. Uh, when, and what are the devices? So these are the mobile devices. We are partnered with the Zebra as well as the SAP. And these devices are well validated. So there is no drainage of batteries and that uh, battery uses, uh, uh, you know, utility is higher, more than eight hours continuously we can use. So these are the Zebra device. We have the ITS mobile, we have the mobile uh, devices, tablets, etc. And uh, these are the solutions which we provided. For example, in one of the customers, they were complaining that we implemented our warehouse solutions and they they see that, uh, you know, the, our uh, Zebra devices are not working. When we visited to warehouse, we found that there are Wi-Fi uh, intermingling and interfering. So we do visit the warehouse and resolve the solution. Voice activated order picking is the uh, concept which has been using since last five to six year, whereby the operator has uh, to uh, where our device will suggest where to go and where to go and pick the goods. We have the hand free picking whereby we have the mobile device. You can tie it on your palms, you can your hands, and within the fingertips you can scan the barcodes and uh, and that's it. Everything will happen in the SAP in the background. Uh, we have the printing. This is a QR code. Then this is a, a gun or mobile device. We can fire the printing and four clips. So we'll talk more on the RFID. Our emphasis is more on the RFID today. I will show you the quick demonstration of how RFID will help you to scan the barcode no matter whether it is active or passive so this uh, reader we can mount on the forklift and then scan the qr code or barcode so these are the some of the rf device uh, or the mobile device this is the rf device basically its mobile and this is our mobile uh, we can download the application on the mobiles and you can perform anything so you can take this mobile device to the area of operation where your inbound outbound or internal process are being carried out you have to just scan it and that's it uh, this is a tablet form uh, that also i will show you in a couple of minutes so what is the why why we are using this and what is the benefit of that 100 percent paperless now those days has gone whereby the warehouse supervisor or warehouse manager sitting in a cabins and then he take the printout, you know, punching some operations like ME 21 ends and MIGO in SAP and then their warehouse of the warehouse worker comes to his cabin, he will hand it over to printer. Those days has completely gone. This is all paperless and 30% increase in productivity around 80% reduction in PCO. 80% efficiency uh, is observed. And we are serving this customer, uh, one of our customer, which is situated 19 countries, 39 locations. So this is our success story, basically. Uh, one of the customer where uh, we found that their warehouse was not well managed. It was basically spare part warehouse. See, the uh, goods were kept helter-skelter. It was not managed uh, you know, in proper ways. So using our mobile apps, effective and efficient solution, we are managed to uh, resolve their issues in very efficient ways. And it reduced the manpower, uh, reduced the manual effort, reduced the operation cost and optimize the inventory. Uh, we are going to talk uh, today about the DCS, Distributed Control System, but before that, just would like to throw more lights on the devices. These are basically the this is the printer and then reader and then scanner so we have many type of scanner 
and as i said we have the partnership with the zebra its uh, availability is ensured within a short period of time we have the rfid now this this its mobile perform two operation barcoding that is you can scan the barcode as well as the rfid reader so this this device is used for the rfid readers i will talk more on the rfid readers and explain you how it works we have basically two type of handheld device handheld device and non handheld device so non handheld device we will call it as a unattended and attended so these are the two type and using these two we just scan the barcode qr code and uh, the related operation automatically happens in the sap you don't have to punch the transaction in sap uh, this is very interesting way of the of the dcs decentralized um, control systems or distributed control system so it's one and the same uh, so both the terms can interchangeably use this is what the high level definition is so what does it means it supervises and it coordinates entire plant of many varying processes and reliability and the scrutiny is the vital parameter for that so basically it's kind of the plc you might have seen in the plc it's a continuous process for example a bottle let's take the example of the cold drink now there are empty bottle which we keeps on a uh, uh, conveyor belt and this empty bottle pass from one place to another place and then it gets filled and the drinks gets poured into this uh, empty bottles and then packing etc everything happens so this is basically and all uh, the operations are captured in graphical display that's what you called as scada so dcs is a improved version of that and the major heart of this dcs and base is the rfid device so when we are talking about the rfid in the whole distributed chain see this is a truck where the all the goods are moving out and this is a picking operations when the after picking operation this is a trolley or we can call it as forklift operator he picks the goods and everywhere the rfid is mounted so whenever we are talking about the rfid there are two type of rfid so rfid is something like a tag which is attached to the object so this there is a active rfid and the passive rfid active rfid is something like which has its own power supply and passive rfid is they do not have the power supply and rfid reader is something that is continuously sending the signal and so here somewhere we mount the uh, so, so for forklift as far as the forklift part concerned we uh, mount the rfid reader and when the forklift goes towards this uh, area it scan the uh, barcode or qr code if it is active it has its own power supply and emit the signal and everything is managed in the it area see this is the it area so all the dcs decentralized or distributed control system they can be monitored and when the goods comes here it goes out as i said the handheld device uh, whereby you have to scan the barcode and non handheld device where this is a gate let's say and in this gates uh, we can mount uh, uh, the Uh, RFID and when the goods are when pass through this gate, it will get scanned and everything is monitored uh, and uh, data gets captured in the uh, the system. This is the truck. So we do have the integration of the truck latency, whereby when the goods are picked and then uh, packed uh, and then uh, you know transported to the truck, we can have the visibility of what is the truck stock. and what is the stock which has been you know uh, in the delivery and when this uh, truck when this truck uh, move to the customer so up to that level we can uh, have the end to end uh, monitoring or end to end capturing of what are the activities so we have something called as the uh, um, you know proof of operation digitalized proof of operation so that also we can uh, Uh, we can have this uh, in our app so i will show you that in a short period of time uh, this is again a warehouse operation where there is a assembly line so here is also we have this is inbound truck basically and this uh, forklift operator they carries the goods and then keeps uh, to this uh, scale, this rack system and this assembly line as i said there is a unattended rf device or unattended uh, uh, reader uh, so this is as goods are you know uh, transferred to the conveyor belt and transferred from one place to another place and there is a scanning so now the uh, question poll is open so by the time the question poll is opens i will 
demonstrate you how exactly the operation happens in uh, actual environment. So I will wait for a minute. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I have launched the poll question and I would appreciate our attendees to participate by sharing the responses on the poll questions. And the poll question will be on till the uh, Milind is going to demo the product and after it we will close the poll question. Yeah, Milind, you can start the demo in meantime, uh, they can, uh, our attendees can respond to the poll questions as well. So this is uh, typically um, what the CC, this is, this is called a leader. Okay, it continuously emit the signal and this is called as RFID, active or passive, it's emit its own signal. So this is uh, basically the reader which is emitting signals, scanning this RFID and the data goes to the systems in the back end, which captures. Now this is the gate, it gets its close. Okay, this truck has passed and all the data capture using this uh, will be, uh, you know, transported to the systems and the system is ready to store and uh, evaluate. So this is in short, what is RFID scanning readings. Uh, now I will show you our application. Okay. I will give you the brief uh, walk you through the journey of application. The Crave has uh, many applications, more than 50 applications developed. So we have supply chain management, we have enterprise access management, approval. So every place is every, you, you name the um, areas and we have the application or we can develop the application based on the user requirement. For example, as far as the warehouse management per concern, we have the inventory management. So I will open one tiles inventory management. Warehouse is composed of inbound, outbounds and internal transfer, including physical inventory. For every, every operation, we have the apps. We have inbound. So when I click to inbound, then we'll get all. Good receipt, good receipt reversal put away. So if I click on the good receipt, then I will get all option. I can receive the good with reference to purchase order. If purchase order, I can receive the good with reference to inbound delivery. If you have the shipping notification from the vendor of will manually post it. So this option is there. I will show you the detailed demo within a five minutes of time. I will just give you the, just walk you through and take you uh, and uh, show you the glimpse of how the, our application look like. See, this is outbound. Okay. So when we're talking about onboard, we have reverse PGI pick. So if I click on pick, we'll get all the screen. Now in SAP, you might have seen the screen is very complicated. There are unwanted buttons, which user, which the user is not concerned. Why should I see that buttons? Why should I see the screen? So only the user uh, dependent screen and user doesn't, he doesn't have to type everything. He has to just select the dates and all the sales orders and the sales order, transfer order, delivery, everything will come automatically okay similarly we have physical inventory physical inventory all the physical inventory of the sap process we have taken into the apps this is a standard uh, app uh, create the physical inventory enter inventory count now create the physical inventory if you go here then we'll all the unwanted screens are masked only user has to select the date and then select the material that's it and create the physical inventory document so i will i will go in the detail how the uh, you know transactions happens in sap just give you the glimpse of that another important thing is uh, we have the post the physical inventory difference in almost all warehouses the posting the physical inventory difference authorization is given to only fi people not the warehouse people because your uh, accounting entry gets hits cost of goods sold account to get it. So we can mask this and we can provide this roles and authorization. So this is the inventory management app. And now we are coming to the most interesting part uh, of this webinar is how our apps, uh, I will show you a demo of how we can, uh, you know, push the, uh, take the printout and then uh, perform uh, one good receipts and good issue operations using a simple apps without going into SAP. Okay, so as I said, we have the Fiori factory whereby we have many apps. So if I go to the warehouse app, it's look like this. See, user will get an opportunity to enter the pass password and user ID. So it need not be the SAP user ID. Without SAP user IDs also he can use, but only backend transaction will not be posted. If it is SAP user IDs, no problem. He can use his user IDs and password and he can log in. So we can control that who whom should the authorization given. 
see we have print reprint put away so basic theme which i uh, explained you earlier that warehouse operator or warehouse manager need not have to give everything to the warehouse worker he can himself take the print out if you click on the print out and you have the good receipt uh, all the good receipt you will be able to see again we can uh, we, we can control that we can customize that that if there are 10 user then what are the good receipt document that he should be able to see so this is a good receipt document he doesn't have to do anything he doesn't have to type anything just click on this that's it you can see the printout see here you can see the printers how the printout looks like this is a qr code all the transaction all the uh, information like purchase order number receipt quantity good receipt note what is the manufacturing expiry date not only that but also the batch management serial number management everything is captured in this qr code so now there are different pallets in the warehouse let's say it's a large pallet the small pallets so we can select that if the pallet is very small we can use choose the small pallets and take the printout see this is this, this is how the printout look like so what user has to do user has to click only two two to three buttons click here select it is already selected by default and fire a print that's it so printout will be uh, the printout will be fired from his mobile device he has to take the printout of the label and then stick to the and paste it on the, the uh, material code and then he's ready to scan and whenever he scan the material for example this is a gr right if he click here if we take the printout it will go from his queue see nothing is there in the user queue so 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 simple uh, so he need not have to go to the main cabins and you know 100 feet or 100 meters away from the warehouse where is the printout and all and all the operations are offline also as well as online also so if the internet signals are not there then we can have the on offline operation suppose there is a problem in the printer no problem we have the reprint option user can go there user can select why the printing is not happens whether there is a you know plain rule completions or the, there is a network issue some power off what is the reason basically so complete audit tracking which is the in pharma company it's a 21 cfr uh, compliance that uh, you know uh, when you are reprinting why you are reprinting it so everything is trackable and here we can take the reprint see label has been fired if you want to put away the goods and uh, into a warehouse uh, what is the operation see we have the put away tab click here we'll get a list of gr which has been already printed just click here and then scan the material okay now since i am not using rf gun on mobile device here i am using my desktop to scan see this is how the barcode look like so let's say i have scanned the material and i am putting it here okay let's say i have scanned the material then see the material has been scanned now suppose there are number of pallets five to six pallets i have to keep into one bin i can choose yes or otherwise no and i can scan the bin so similarly i am scanning the bin okay i'm scanning the bin here that's it i just have to put the put away button and then transfer order if you do not have the warehouse management then you will get the material document and whatever he scan when the put away is completed it is removed from his queue the i can do the similar thing for second material uh, this is the uh, put away operations now most important thing is there are thousands of materials in a warehouse my warehouse is huge where exactly my material is how can i know which material is where without going into system without uh, typing the old transaction code mb 51s and mmbs and mb 52s no it is not required you can use this app bin and qr code scan there is a material qr label options and bin it means you can scan the material and then you will get all the information you can scan the bin and you will get all the information so i am scanning the material here okay so as i said i am not using uh, rf gun i will use the desktop i will use uh, this excel sheet where i have already captured see 
I am scanning the materials. I will get all the information. What is the material number? What is the PO number? GR number. So backtracking is possible. If I want to go any bin, if I go to the any bin, towards the bin, I want to know what are the material. Of course, I can see what are the materials in the bin, but whether really it's there, what is the system stock and what is the stock which I am looking at. So this will reduce the possibility of the physical inventory by scanning the bin. How can I scan the bin? I will just go to the uh, bin. I will scan the bin. Let's say I have scanned the bin here. Okay. And press enter. I will get all the material which is there in the bin. Now, currently there is only one material. So oh, the system is showing that uh, uh, only one material. If there are multiple materials, I can also see this uh, materials in the bin. So this is the capabilities of the BR you scan. Similarly, we have many transactions. Good issue to cost center. Good issue to uh, let's say uh, good issue to scrapping. So we and we can create a reservation. Okay, and we can issue the materials against reservation. See all the reservation list you will get. You have to just screen it and add the material. Then you can add the test and just issue it. Similarly, good issue the production order. You have the production systems, you have the process order or production order, maintenance orders, no matter what orders you have in the production. If you have the production warehouse, then you can issue the goods to the production and uh, simply using the apps. Let's see good issue against the order. So all the reservations, this is the order number and inventory management, transaction, two, uh, moment type 261, etc. Everything is come by default. You don't have to type this. So these are the beauty of uh, our applications. So I think uh, the question, Paul, is open. So um, you can yeah. take it over. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Milan and Murli. Now we are open for question and answer. Uh, anyone uh, from our attendees, if you, they would like to ask any question, we are open here. You can type in your question in QA or in chat box and we will be happy to answer those. In the meantime, I'm just closing the poll question. I think we got good response. Thank you everyone for responding to the polls. Just waiting for a minute and see if anyone having any question, otherwise we can end this session. Definitely Joel will be sending you more details and we can discuss further on this. Thank you. Thank you for attending the session. I think we don't have any questions, so we should call off the session. Thank you everyone for, for thank joining you. To this for webinar. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Murli and Melinda. Yeah. Thank you, audience. Thank, thank you so much. You. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you.